Seeker. Hi, good afternoon. This is the Plug Seeker. I'm just going to do a quick video today and I'm going to test out one of the other rapid charging networks. This time I'm going to check out the CYC uh, rapid charger. And uh, I'm going to test it out firstly um, using the app, the CYC app, and also I'm going to try out using the Polar RFID card. As the Polar network, I understand, has now acquired a CYC, at least in England, and therefore this card should also work now on the CYC rapid chargers. I don't have a CYC card, so I can't test one of these. Um, but uh, any of you that use the CYC network can uh, post below how you find using the CYC RFID card and whether it's reliable. So I'm going to um, travel down now to one of the CYC chargers and I will uh, see how it goes. So the CYC network of rapid chargers has been around for a very long time. And the CYC network includes also seven kilowatt uh, chargers type two as well. Now, throughout the history of CYC chargers, as I understand it, different chargers in different parts of the country have been financially owned by different providers um, but they all have been covered by the CYC um, back office staff and access to them historically was always via either a CYC card for which there was I believe an annual membership fee or via the CYC app. In Scotland the CYC network has now as I understand it become taken over um, by the Scottish um, charging network and uh, these are now being rebranded with a new uh, charge place Scotland um, colors I believe these can still be accessed by the CYC app uh, and the CYC card and I think there is also a charge place Scotland card as well um, any of the drivers in Scotland um, can clarify this further in the comments and I might try to add this to the uh, uh, to the video in the editing. Outside of Scotland the CYC network has I believe been bought up now by the Polar Network. Now this is great for Polar Network members as I am told now the Polar card can be used to access the CYC rapid chargers. I'm not sure if the Polar card can be used to access the smaller seven kilowatt chargers. Uh, and again, perhaps anyone who's tried that can let me know or anyone from Polar Network can comment in the comments. So particularly good for the Polar Network people because it now means we've got an extra set of rapid chargers we can access all using the same card from our monthly membership. The CYC chargers, be they 7 kilowatt or rapid chargers, um, all have different pricing structures. Some of them are three with the CYC or, uh, card or the app, and some of them are chargeable. And I think the charging prices vary according to where you are. But most of the charging prices can be seen by looking at the uh, costs on the CYC app. So today um, I'm mainly going to just, as I said, I'm going to check out the one of the nearby CYC chargers to me 
and I'm going to first try and access it with the CYC app, see if that works. And after that, I'm going to try and access, access it with my Polar RFID card. Now, I don't have a CYC card, um, and I'm not going to pay to get one. So, uh, anyone who's got experience of using the CYC card to access the rapid chargers in England or in uh, Scotland, um, please leave a comment and let me know how you find the CYC cards in terms of how reliable they are and uh, how well they compare. Obviously, whenever you're accessing a rapid from a iPhone or other app, you do somewhat um, run the risk of having poor reception and difficulties charging if you can't get a, a good signal. Which is why, actually, I do rather like to have a C, uh, an RFID card for any uh, fast charging networks which I use, or rapid charging networks rather, that I use. Um, simply so you've got a, a backup. So uh, again, that's why I'm uh, extremely pleased to find that my Polar card can now be used on yet another uh, set of rapids. So uh, I'm, gonna, um, I'm gonna cut to the road for a little while and uh, I'll uh, catch up with you guys when I reach the charger. So I've arrived at the charger, and first I'm going to try charging using my Polar Plus RFID card. Let's see how we go. One small point, if you're aiming to charge here and it's late at night, you might want to just have a pause of thought if you're on your own, because this is a rather in the middle of nowhere area, and it's quite poorly lit. So. Um, just a little bit uh, of caution there. So this is the charger. And as you can see, this is the welcome screen. So first thing you're gonna do is select the charger type, which in my case is Chadmo. So I'm gonna press there. And it says, place your card in front of the card reader. And so, there we go. And now it says, please wait. And it says, now connect your vehicle. So I'm going to do that now. So here is the Chadmo charger. And I'm gonna take this out. And plug it in, give it a good push and it should click. Now I select start charging and it's started the initialization. So you can hear the fan starting up. And the car has beeped, suggesting the connection is in progress. And we're charging. So that went without any problems. Now, as you can see, I'm 68%, but I'm not too bothered about a charge today. So I'm gonna now stop the charge 
and we'll try again using instead the CYC app. So to stop charging, click stop charge. And it asks you to present your card again, so I'm going to do that. It says please wait. And it asks me now to replace the chart. And okay. Now I'm going to repeat the process using the CYC app. Okay, so first you need to make sure you've downloaded the CYC app, as you can see. And then go to the location and select the charger. So once you've identified the charger, and as you can see this charger is the Ray Lane charger, Next, it'll ask you to log in. So log in with your login email and password. And then it'll ask you to follow the screen, screen instructions. So we're gonna go back to the charger now. Okay, so on testing it today, I found what you should do first is you should plug in the Chadmo first to your car if you're going to use the app. Once you've plugged it into the car, click, select the charge in type view, which is, as I say, Chadmo for my Nissan Leaf. So the next screen, it asks you for identification. You go back to the app and select start charging. And after pressing start charging, it now starts the initialization again. You hear the click as the connector seals. And again, the car beeps, showing the connections in progress. And with that sound, you can see it has started charging. As I said, I don't need a charge particularly at the moment, so I'm going to now stop the charging. So you first go to stop charging, and it asks you for identification on the app now go to station to activity in the bottom left and then click on the, the open activity at the top and then click stop charging and again it comes up stop charging and it says session finished and asks you to replace the charger so i'm going to do that now so to remove Press down on the yellow button and pull firmly out. Make sure that when you replace it, you do replace it again into this holder here, like so. It's important that you don't try to replace the charging lead here, as this does not keep the charger waterproof and may damage it. This small bracket is often mistaken as a holder, but it is not. This is for securing the loose cable so there's not lying like it is now so grab the cable when you're finished and just carefully carefully hook the cable like so and then as you can see it's nicely tucked away a good idea if you're if you happen to come and see any other cables that are not nicely hooked in to also put them away safely so these are in the right place but as you can see there's a loose cable here so I'm going to just gently put this back where it should be. So I've now also replaced the other AC chargers. That one was lying on the floor. So that's nice and tidy now for the next user. So this charge session has finished and it is ready to start again. And now I've finished charging, close the Chadmo port and close the charging flap. Successful charge using the CYC charger, using both the Polar Plus RFID card and also the CYC app. Now this is quite a handy location. As you can see, it's a lovely scenic area 
plenty of places to go for a nice walk while you're waiting to charge and also in, if you're in daytime hours there's also a nice little cafe here where you can get sandwiches and hot snacks so well done CYC and Polar a good all-round location pretty close to the M25 to, uh, where it joins the 217 and also not too far from the M23 okay I think it's time to head back now so that's it charging complete and no problems using CYC now I think there is only one thing to do and this goes out particularly to L I think it's time for a quick photo bomb before I leave <laughs> plug share photo bomb Okay, now that's done, I think it's time to head home. Okay, so here we are, home sweet home. That uh, charge went fine, so no problems using the CYC charger with either the CYC app or the Polar Plus RFID card. So please don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And please share this video and my channel with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever's your favorite. So I'm going to head in now for a well-earned cup of tea and a sarni. Thank you for watching. This is the Plug Seeker signing off. Happy charging. <laughs>